All right, what's up guys? My name is Zach and I'm back again with another video. Today I will be unboxing the ECU for my FB RX-7. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I get a lot of questions about what my ECU is and since I just bought a brand new one, I thought this would be a perfect time to actually go through it. So it came in this box. This does not come with it, but is highly recommended. If you want to tune it, you're going to need this. It's a USB cable, um, so this does not come with it. It's an extra $7, I believe, um, but that's important. Here we have some pins and connectors. Uh, so this is if I already have this in my car, but if you're going to go with your own, um, if you're going to make a custom harness or something, that's what you need that for. More pins and connectors for the custom harness. This again does not come with the ECU this is a GM coolant sensor um, so we're gonna be doing that modification to my FB later this year um, you drill in a different coolant sensor it's a GM product and uh, it'll give you more accurate readings so that's kind of a little tidbit to videos to come but this is the mega squirt MS 3x that's the name of it and so let me pull it up here I'll show you guys all the specs for really anyone interested uh, just kind of on a base level this is it this is the ECU that I use it's a mega squirt MS 3x I'll leave a link down below if you guys would like to check that out for yourself but for anyone interested that's what I'm using um, and so now I'll kind of get into the nerdy nitty-gritty stuff on what this thing can do now this is the same ECU that I've been running on my RX-7 it's nothing new um, it's just that I was borrowing that ECU from a friend just to get my car running I ended up using it the whole season because he didn't need it um, but now he needed it back to actually do some tuning on a supercharged Honda Civic um, so I just fessed up the seven hundred and thirty dollars and got my own so that's what this is we can kind of dig into it here And here it is. It's literally just a metal box. Now you can tell that it's not a pro. This is not the pro edition because the pro is smaller and you hook everything in on top. This hooks in on the side. So this is your engine harness side. So my harness will plug in right here. Uh, and then you have a couple different outputs. I'm mainly going to be using this USB one. That's what I got this cable for. So it hooks into here, then goes to my laptop to run MS or uh, what is it? Tuner Studio Lite, uh, which can also be found on the same link uh, as to find this, you just go to the download section. So now to the nerdy nitty gritty. This is called a Mega Squirt 3 EMS system with MS3X expansion version 3.57 assembled unit. Like I said, I'll leave that link down below. That'll be the first link right there to click and I'll take you directly to uh, where I got this from. I got it from DIYAutotune.com. Um, super fast shipping I uh, bought it last Tuesday in class um, and then it got here on Saturday so it, it actually had a really quick turnaround so some of the features that come with this uh, it has a built-in USB port GM stepper IAC control closed loop idle and mixture control native support for many OEM trigger patterns uh, eight sequential fuel injection outputs uh, each can drive high impedance injectors, eight logical level five volt ignition outputs, six medium current outputs, three analog inputs, used for an external map sensor, second O2 sensor, fuel pressure, accelerometer, or general data logging, four switch inputs, uh, can be used to start data logging, arm and nitro systems, switch tables, launch control, VVS, or VSS input, one cam sensor input, and can be used with VR, hall, or optical sensors. So that's a lot of nerdiness, but basically this thing can do a lot. It can do way more than I needed to for my rotary. Um, so if you guys are looking into getting a uh, an ECU for your rotary, this is a little bit of overkill, but... I know for a fact that this works um, because my car runs off of it. So I have obviously a custom wiring harness in my car done by my friend Adam. Uh, so that was about $350. This was about $750. So all in all, it's an $1,100 
wiring setup. Now, obviously, price is going to vary depending on who can build you a custom harness, um, but that's just what I've paid. That's what I've put into it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Uh, this hopefully should answer your question of what ECU I use. Um, this is it. It's just this box. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys. I, 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 I,